Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a map in 10 simple steps. Well, not really create a map, but more the start of a map. If you know what I mean. The 10 things which you should have in a map. So 10 simple steps to create a basic uh, and interesting map. So you need the floor, displacements, walls and windows, decals and overlays, lights, textures, environment, skybox, props and background. I tend to go over this in this tutorial. Open up your map maker. So here I've made it. So I, in this term, I'm not exactly going to be making it, I'm just going to be telling you and showing you how to and what to put in your maps. So I'm just going to get rid of these triggers for a second. Get rid of the tool brushes and we need to get rid of the brush. Thing. Right, so as you can see, it's just a plain map. I've got a little hut or house or little thing in the middle of nowhere which goes into a roof and you've got some open land here with a skybox right so number one on our list is floors so the floor I've added displacement but underneath this I've got a floor so you added displacement as I've made a tutorial on it you click the toggle text application tool you click displacement you create you paint alpha and you just draw around and I've done this throughout the map well, up to here anyway and then from here it's just a normal flow. The only reason for displacement is to make the map look better, bumpier, bim it's not so plain. Okay, so that's the first two steps done. It's three walls and windows. Now the walls of this building is just a simple texture and just a nice little effect and the roof is a little roof texture. I'm not adding any windows to this map due to the fact that it's a small little hut and they don't necessarily need a window. I've got a few steps here to lift it up off the displacement to add a bit of effect and that is step 3. Step 4 is decals and overlays. Now decals and overlays are very effective for the map because they they do show the interior and the design of the map and how good you use them. So here I've just had some boards and some rip wall and some notices outside this just gives a lot of detail to that, it makes it feel a lot better right um, lights so I've added a light into here and it just gives it a lot of sh using a light spot gives it a lot better it gives it a lot more shine and it makes the map feel better and I've also added a light into an environment pointed it towards the floor and giving it brightness settings of what I want right so that's step 5 Step six is the textures. Now, textures can be picky because you shouldn't. You're not supposed to use too many textures because it does increase, decrease frame rates in the game. So try and stick to the minimum amount of textures as you can. As you, I've just used grass and a brick tool. Really, that's the only textures I've used for this map, and of course the tools for the skybox and the triggers. Okay. Step seven is environment. Now, environment means such as like lighting, rain, like little things which can make the map better like fog, like you'd add an M fog controller in the map, etc. But I haven't done so for this map. Uh skybox. Now skybox I've added around here, it is a 3D skybox because outside we do have a sky camera up here with a few Little skyscrapers, which it does look a bit stupid, so I'm gonna just get rid of some. This sky camera makes it everything look better, but it increases it by like something like 64, something like that, times everything by 64, something stupid like that. So you just want to be careful of what you do and why not make. Um, a tip I use is for map making is clicking Shift and Z, which makes the bits bigger, makes it easier to use. Yeah, so that's that. Right, so a 3D skybox is done. Step nine is props. Now props are a very important thing to this map because without props, it looks plain, it looks boring, and Props do make thing the map look a lot better. So here I got a ladder, that's a prop. I've got some 
trees, that's a prop in here, I've got guns, tables, and players, they're all props. And the door is even a prop, which is a prop, and the door frame. Okay, now that's props, so try and add quite a lot of props into your map because they do affect, they do give a good feeling about the map. Right, number 10 is background. Now, this includes rain, etc. Like, so first off, land. Do not end the map here, so it's like that because it, you need to know that it goes on and add some background to it so this map is nowhere near finished you'd add a lot of background buildings some roads leading off to the city etc that, that's what I mean by backgrounds not necessarily you can get to it but it's like you can see it makes the map look a lot better um, rain which I have here if I click the brush and see all this trigger here is a funk underscore precipitation and it will add rain to the map and also a ladder which gives you the ladder and invisible which stops players jumping over but you can still shoot through and stuff another thing would be soundscapes this just makes your map sound better like it adds detail and atmosphere to the map okay um, so like I said yeah, overall you need to be patient and set a reasonable deadline so for example if you're gonna make a house Three weeks. If you're gonna make a street, let's say a month. Uh, let's say I wanted to make a city. Let's say something reasonable, like six months. Just set reasonable deadlines for reasonable timings for size maps. And if I just quick show you a map, right. So as you can see, we're in map now, and the shadowing and everything looks good. The props. The decals look good. <laughs> right, and as you go outside, the sky looks good. It looks the displacement looks well. The buildings in the background don't look too good, but you set them up. The ladder works, the roof works, maybe you could add a few pipe bombs and monitors at the top here. And it'll just create a good overall effect. So this is just the basic of making a map. Um, some advance would be to add some roads leading off into the city with some cars moving in the background, some moving objects in the air, I don't know, just to add better things. So this concludes this tutorial, hope this has helped in some way, and good luck with your mapping guys.